Good morning. It's Friday, February 13th, and this is your board report for the month of February. Our regular board meeting was held on February 11th, Wednesday, at uh, 12 o'clock noon. The board meeting was convened as usual by Board Chair Harry Cartham, and uh, we engaged in recognizing Matt Kemp from our Head Start ECAP program for his exemplary work in providing support to both that program and other programs. Uh, with special recognition for his outstanding efforts during the time of flooding and uh, the loss of facilities uh, down on the harbor. So congratulations to Matt and uh, w way to go. You're a great member of our team and contribute greatly to the ESD. Uh, regular board activities of uh, consent agenda approval, uh, which included uh, payments for the month, staffing, and that sort of thing. Uh, special reports to the board, though, this month uh, were we invited superintendents from Aberdeen and Lake Quinault. Tom Opstad, superintendent of Aberdeen, made a presentation to the board summarizing both some of the things that the ESD is doing in support to the district, as well as some ideas for how we could provide better services, including things like looking at what will happen with the loss of E-rate and how we might provide phone services as a di at a distance, uh, communications services, ongoing professional development in the harbor close to where their personnel reside uh, and helping them deal with the challenges of finding adequate substitutes. Rich Dubois, superintendent of Lake Quinault, also presented to our board of directors, similarly telling the great work of uh, the ESD staff and support to his district. He said multiple times he just doesn't know what he would do without the support and care of the ESD. Like uh, Tom Obstad, Rich is concerned about the availability of subs, the distances of travel, and would like us to look as an ESD at how we can better deliver services, professional development, training, and support at a distance using technology as that vehicle. Informational items provided to the board included an executive summary to legislators that was prepared by the AESD network. I'll attach a copy of that for you to look at. It summarizes everything the ESDs do across the state, including some of the great work of our regional math, science, and literacy coordinators. The board read for the first time revisions to our policy manual in the 5200 series. 5200 series is personnel, and I would like to call out one item, policy 5210, which will be changed to include the role of supervisors in providing support to staff when they have reasonable suspicion that an individual is reporting to work under the influence of uh, some drug or chemical. We certainly want to provide a safe working environment for all of our staff and uh, support anyone if they're struggling with uh, any of those issues in their lives, and so uh, this is uh, an opportunity for us. Jody Petrovich provided information to the board around our change in the use of a new software platform, NeoGov, which is a tool that uh, we will be using as well as our co-op member districts, I think 30 districts in total now, uh, who use uh, our systems for the recruitment, the application screening processes for uh, their hiring practices. So a, a lot of work that's been ongoing there. Uh, we spent some time talking with Pat Rance from the Rance Group, who shared with our board of directors some of the future direction in our region as it relates to uh, land development. We are looking at how to make the best use of the two acres that we own that are currently undeveloped, and uh, we're trying to understand what's going on in our neighborhood. Uh, we are learning that Tai E Drive is likely to be pushed all the way through to Israel Road in the next year or so as a new auto mall it may be opening up just to the south of us um, that will be accessed via Tai E Drive. Maybe not a, a mall, but more of a single large, very large dealership. Uh, so we're learning about what's happening in our neighborhood and how we can be better neighbors uh, in the city of Tumwater. The board elected a uh, new member, um, one of our members, to replace uh, Howard Coble who will no longer be serving as our representative to the AESD, which is the Association of Educational Service Districts here in Washington State. Rick Anthony was unanimously approved as filling that vacancy. Legislative action is certainly going on all around us. Uh, it's uh, that season. Uh, it seems to be the legislative session of education. Everywhere you turn in the news uh, or social media, you're going to find lots of information about what's happening in Olympia as it relates to fully funding of education. We're tracking a number of bills that have to do with ESDs, notably some services that we might provide uh, to our districts in the area of school safety, and also looking at what might be done uh, in terms of the role that ESD might fill in delivering ongoing professional development. Uh, there were um, a little few good of the order comments from our board. Uh, we're looking at having a board retreat in April to consider the presentations of 
this month, uh, February, from our two districts and next month from three other districts, trying to see how we as an ESD can be more responsive to district needs. Uh, the board adjourned temporarily to an executive session to discuss the evaluation of the superintendent and then uh, returned to regular session uh, to, and adjourned right, roughly at 4 o'clock p.m. Our next board meeting will be held March 11th here at the ESD and uh, I just hope that you make it a wonderful day and enjoy your holiday weekend. Take care.